This is the most complicated devil fruit in all of One Piece. You may think you understand Tony Tony Chopper and his human human fruit, but you don't because no one does. First problem, it functions in a drastically different way than almost any other Zoan fruit. When you eat your typical Zoan devil fruit, you end up with access to three forms. You've got your basic you, you've got your basic you combined with an animal, also known as a hybrid. And finally, you have access to the full animal form. Chopper doesn't have that last one. We've never seen him go full human. This is apparently what humans do. The closest thing we have is Heavy Point, which is identified as one of the basic Zoan transformations. And to be fair, post time skip, Heavy Point does look an awful lot like one human we've seen, which is Nightmare Luffy, and that makes sense. Chopper said that he would become a monster for Luffy, so why not take inspiration from the most powerful Luffy form Chopper had seen to that point? But that's not all though. Chopper's Hito Hito no Mi also functions quite strangely when he's submerged in seawater. On the few occasions where that has happened, he reverts to Brain Point, which is the reindeer human human hybrid form. However, theoretically, he should revert back to being a full reindeer, which is known as Walk Point. Chopper isn't the only weird exception here though. In general, Echiro Oda has been very inconsistent about the effects of seawater. And from time to time, you do have awkward questions pop up, such as, hey, if Brook falls into the water, does he just die? And the answer is no, because that would be morbid, like really morbid, regardless of magical fruit laws. But the big problem with examining Chopper and the Hito Hito no Mi is that we have such limited precedence for animals actually eating devil fruits. Legitimately, we have more cases of inanimate objects like guns, swords, and teapots quote unquote eating devil fruits than we do animals. So have any other actual animals consumed devil fruits before? Yes, yes they have. Other than Chopper, the first time we see such a creature is Pierre on Skypea. He is a sky dot bird who ate the Uma Umanami or the horse horse fruit, which allows him to transform into this glorious Pegasus. The bird is the base form and the Pegasus is the hybrid form. But we never got to see Pierre go full clip clop into horse form. Probably because the entire arc was, was about being in the sky and it would be very counterproductive to assume the only form that couldn't fly. We did, however, see Pierre drinking good old pumpkin juice on the cover of chapter 649, but sadly that doesn't help us too much. So it looks like we need to find another example. And I've got one. Pecoms is technically what we're looking for, as a minky is rather animalicious in nature and has eaten a turtle zoan fruit. Sadly though, Pecoms is even worse because most people forget that he's even a devil fruit user to begin with, because we've only actually seen it that one time and we didn't really see it, it was it was just a shell. So allegedly, Pecoms also used his fruit powers when Capone Gang Bay shot him in the back. You know, some very quick thinking turtle shelling. But again, we, we, we did not actually see it. Apparently it happened, this this is all hearsay. What we did see were his eyes, two haunting pitch black dots. And ever since then, this is how I involuntarily pictured Doflamingo looking without sunglasses. But look, is there any other character we can compare to Chopper? Well, yes, there is one. Just one. His name is Onimaru, the Komagitsune who ate the Hito Hito no Mi model Onyudo. The Onyudo being a yokai primarily known for epic pranks, such as blowing magical wind up the anuses of unsuspecting men. Although this guy here, he doesn't look like he's having a not good time. However, Onimaru has a distinctly full beast form with no traces of his original Komagitsune self whatsoever. He goes full human, unlike Chopper. Standard disclaimer though, this is a mythical devil fruit, which means that unfortunately you cannot apply any general rules to them. Mythical Zoans are like the bad boys who sit at the back of the Devil Fruit school bus. They're unpredictable and undependable loose cannons. Oh, and also, a Komagitsune is already a mythical creature on its own. So even in his natural form, Onimaru is still a crazy left field existence. But he does prove that going full animal is indeed possible. So what's up with Choppa? One potential explanation is that whoever originally desired this power to exist may not have been human, and as a result, may have had a bit of a distorted perception of of what a human is. Alternatively, they may have been smack bang on the money, as humans in One Piece do vary quite radically in terms of size and shape, such as Masura and Shoujo, who are certainly more on the ape side of the humanity spectrum. So if that's what you thought were humans, then naturally, yeah, that's what the fruit is gonna end up being. But given the increased focus on devil fruit interactions with willpower and belief, there's also the option that this is all to do with Chopper. Tony Tony Chopper has always viewed himself as a monster and later even came to accept that he will become a monster for the sake of Luffy. So if you wanted the wanky auntie answer, then this chopper is it's an outer reflection of hidden beliefs and the stuff. To be honest, I don't really care because we do actually know what the answer is. As with most questions of logic, the answer doesn't lie within the world of One Piece, but outside of it. Because in an interview with Naruto author Masashi Kishimoto, Oda dropped a secret and didn't bother picking it back up again. Clumsy Oda, let me tell you a secret. Chopper grew up in a painful environment. I was going to make him a prominent funny character. Reindeer walking with 
two legs. <laughs> I'm assuming Oda laughed there. But Luffy and his first few Nakama were too popular. I couldn't find a position for Chopper. If I designed him as I initially planned, he would be covered by the other characters. People couldn't see his uniqueness. So eventually I made him smaller and cuter. So that, that, that is why all of the things happened. Chopper was originally supposed to be a talking reindeer standing on his hind legs, much less fruit and much more cigarettes. But this Chopper was deemed not unique enough, which I think is a pretty grand statement on One Piece in general. The idea that in this world, even this is considered too basic. But that's why Chopper doesn't function logically, because artistically and narratively, we need to keep him unique to this world. But that's far from the only confusing thing about his abilities. A lot of people tend to question the idea that he even ate a devil fruit, which spawns entirely from the idea that the Hito Hito no Mi is shaped like a mushroom. And mushrooms are not fruit. Mushrooms are vegetables, so that would make this a devil vegetable. But also, no, it's still a fruit. And in addition to being a gut-wrenching reference to Chopper's flashback, it's also mushroom-shaped due to the idea that mushrooms share more genetic material to humans than they do plants. So apparently we share about 50% of our DNA with mushrooms, and also 50% with bananas. And this is getting a little bit obscure, but people have also proposed the idea that Chopper's fruit is a reference to the stoned ape theory, which credits the consumption of psychedelic mushrooms for an integral stage of human evolution. And this theory has been, quote, widely criticized by the greater scientific community. But to them, I say, Pfeh. what do they know? Because it worked for Chopper. Speaking of drugs though, there are a lot of misunderstandings surrounding the Hito Hito no Mi due to drugs, because Chopper has roughly a gazillion different transformations. And the reason why this becomes confusing is because Chopper does not distinguish between the natural and the drug-induced forms. It doesn't matter what he becomes, they're all just called points. And because we don't often see Chopper physically consuming the rumble balls anymore, this often leads people to thinking that they're all just natural transformations now. To clarify, walk point, brain point, and heavy point are the three out of the box Zoan transformations. Meanwhile, stuff like guard point, horn point, kung fu point, etc. They are all of the rumble ball activated forms. But to your casual fan, look, they're all just points. And it becomes tricky and also undesirable to think too far beyond that, which I don't blame anyone for because in the end, I just want to see the reindeer do cool things. But then sometimes the reindeer does very uncool things. Things. Because not content with manipulating his own body, Chopper has become something of a dealer, handing out rumble balls to Beppo to give him that sweet, sweet shot of addictive Sulong buzz. But another problem is that Chopper also has unintentional transformations, such as the recent baby Gigi form, which is a consequence of using the rumble ball for 30 minutes, almost like what used to happen when Luffy used Gear Third. Except this also forces Chopper to speak like an old man for, uh, for reasons. And then there's also Monster Point. This is a subject that causes a bit of a thought rift. To this very day, when I call Chopper an awakened Devil Fruit user, I have a lot of people say, nah brah, that's just Monster Point, which functions exactly like an awakened Zoan in every way, shape, and form, but it's not that because Chopper calls it a point, which, look, it's fair. It's never specifically been stated that this is an awakening, just heavily, heavily implied. Because Chopper assumes the same form as most of the Impel Down Jailer Beasts, I say most because Mino Chihuahua is an exception. He's the new fifth Jailer Beast, and it's unknown if he's awakened, but what is known is that he is is sadistically adorable. But Chihuahua aside, Chopper takes on all of their awakened traits with the exception of swift recovery. But that's because Chopper doesn't achieve this state naturally. Again, it's because all of the drugs he takes. Monster Point is forcing an awakened state, a state which is unsustainable due to the nature of the substance that caused it. Regardless, I love the idea that Chopper was the first of the Straw Hats to achieve any form of awakening. But now we have some more naming issues to deal with. I know that most of you watching probably know this, but over the last six years, of making One Piece videos and reading all of the thousands of comments, I cannot tell you the absolutely insane amount of times I've seen people claim that Chopper and Sengoku ate the same devil fruit. It happens every time I say something in a video like, every devil fruit is unique. Whenever I say something like that, without fail, there will always be a legion of comments saying something along the lines of, um, actually, you, man on the internet, are wrong. And I, man also on the internet, am correct. And this is because the two fruits have the same name. They're both the Hito Hito no Mi, but Sengoku's fruit has that very important distinction at the end, being that it's the model Daibutsu. That's not it though. This particularly gets out of hand because both of these fruits are also associated with enlightenment, which is due to a long-standing myth that Echiro Oda once said that a human who eats the Hito Hito no Mi will achieve enlightenment. And then after that was said, along comes a human who has actually eaten a Hito Hito no Mi and he is a literal enlightened Buddha. In reality, this spawned from a very poor and very early fan translation that decided to use the word enlightenment and has persisted for 
Yeah, I think potentially decades plural now. But the actual question Oda was asked in an SBS was, what happens if a person eats the Hito Hito no Mi? And more importantly, Oda's actual answer was, I suppose I should say they become human. I guess you could say that means something like becoming an adult or finding your true spirit or something. So basically, people will live more human-like. Well, I guess you could say that. Or not. Basically not. Goodbye. And then there are stage directions which say, runs away. Which seems like a very rambling sort of non-answer which Oda does a lot. But that's what the One Piece wiki translation is. The official Viz translation is actually quite different. There's a saying we have in Japan, to become human, or rather to come of age. It means to act like an adult or to stop acting crazy. To behave the way a human being is supposed to. Maybe that's part of it. Or not. Well, no, yes. That's what I mean. Runs away. Which seems to imply that a human eating the fruit would be subject to becoming more mature. Just advancing their humanity somewhat before Oda decides that he has no real answer and runs away from his own written response. Either way, neither of them mention enlightenment. It is a myth. But speaking of myth, Chopper is in very mythological company. To date, we now have four fruits in the Hito Hito family, being Sengoku, Onimaru, Luffy, and Chopper. Which does beg the question of, is a basic human what Chopper actually is? And it seems absurd, yes, but there was once a time where it would have seemed absurd to say that Luffy would be retconned into a mythical Zoan as well. Oh no. <laughs> I've really got to fix that. They keep falling. So this has happened in a couple of videos now, but these keep falling because it is actually incredibly hot in here. And so it melts the, uh, the sticky magnet. So could Chopper potentially have eaten the human-human fruit model Sasquatch or even model Wendigo? Especially because Monster Point specifically resembles a lot of Wendigo imagery. But the point is that this should be one of, if not the simplest fruit in the series. You become a stock standard human person. And yet it's turned into one of the most convoluted and misunderstood powers in One Piece. All due to a combination of storytelling needs, in-world drugs, a poorly thought out naming scheme, and confusing statements spread online by fans. At the same time though, it's quite appropriate. The idea that somehow trying to realize a basic human has turned out to be more complicated than any mythological creature that humanity can think of. Humans complicated something something deep statement about existence. The end. I've got to fix this now. Bye. <laughs>